I have some great, exciting news on the anti-aging front. I know that's a buzz word. Uh, anytime we say anti-aging, everyone tends to like look, and including me, because after all, who does not want to look and feel younger? And the great news is that science is now telling us that as individuals, we really do have significant control over the rate at which we age, right? So I want to share three of the most important things for you to do if you want to add years to your life and life to your years. And from a scientific standpoint, when we're thinking anti-aging and what we need to do, the, the three sort of cardinal things we are shooting for are, number one, boosting blood flow, healthy blood flow. Number two, decreasing oxidation. And number three, decreasing inflammation, okay? Oxidation and inflammation at the cellular level seem to be the key processes that actually age our cells, right? And as far as healthy blood flow, that should be intuitive to you. That, you know, arteries are the rivers of life, and the better your blood flows, the better everything is going to be. So thinking about those three sort of overarching, you know, sort of cardinal goals, blood flow, decreasing oxidation, decreasing inflammation, there are three specific strategies that, like, pop right off the page. And the first one is you need to be putting as many plant foods into your body as you can. And the reason is pretty straightforward. Um, plant foods, first of all, they're exploding with nutrients, right? They have way more nutrient density, meaning they have more nutrients per unit calories, way more than any other animal food. But what really, really launches them up into the stratosphere as far as superstar foods for anti-aging effects are their phytochemicals, phytochemicals, plant chemicals. Animal foods do not have phytochemicals. Many of these phytochemicals are very potent antioxidants and very potent anti-inflammatory agents. And what about blood flow in plant foods? Are you kidding me? There are at least five separate ways, five different ways in which plant foods can improve the health of your arteries and keep your blood flowing like we want it to. The second thing is be sure to regularly include the superstar anti-aging fat, omega-3. I know uh, you know I'm nutty on the subject of omega-3 because I'm so freaked out that so many people are deficient in it, right? And um, there are two things about omega-3 fats that make them so special and so powerful on the anti-aging in the anti-aging realm, and that is that number one, omega-3 fats have seven separate benefits. For your heart and your arteries. Not one, not two, not three, seven separate benefits for your heart and your arteries. That's incredible. The other thing about omega-3 fats is they are your body's only innate, natural, inside of you anti-inflammatory agent. What am I telling you? I'm telling you that within your body, Almost all of the anti-inflammatory chemicals that your body can make, thankfully it can make them, are made out of the mother molecule omega-3 fats, right? So you say, well, Dr. Green, you got to remind me, where can I get those fats? Where can I get the darlings of the healthy fat world? Uh, here are the best places to get it. And, and you know, again, they're not in very many foods. So oily fish, salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines, herring, lake trout, um, whole soy foods, canola oil, dark leafy greens, walnuts, flax seeds, omega-3 fortified eggs. Those are the, the, the places you can get omega-3 fats. And again, don't, uh, don't forget about fish oil supplements because they are also basically a really nice pure concoction of, um, of, of omega-3, right? So get your omega-3 fats. And the third thing is perhaps the most important and the most powerful, and that is physical activity. Um, lots of very exciting science out there telling us that being physically active throughout your life, and for most of us that's going to boil down to exercising, is the real fountain of youth. That exercise and physical activity are truly the universal life preserver. Thinking back to the three things that we're trying to uh, hit, 
healthy blood flow, decrease in oxidation, decreasing inflammation. Let's think about exercise in terms of those uh, three all important goals. What about exercise and blood flow? I mean, there's so many different ways that exercise improves the health of your heart and arteries that, you know, it's almost kind of crazy. It would take me two hours to give you that lecture, right? Do you know also that exercise has potent antioxidant effects? We know this. When you exercise, you actually increase the oxidative stress in your body. What that does is wake up and sort of ignite your body's innate antioxidant systems. We have innate inside of us very sophisticated, very potent antioxidant systems. And exercise is actually like a little spark that kind of gets them to wake up and do and work their magic. And what about inflammation? Indeed, absolutely, exercise has anti-inflammatory effects, anti-inflammatory effects. So I, ho I hope that these three strategies will help you add life to your years and years to your life. And remember, remember, really important, you are the only one that can do these things for yourself, right? So take charge of your health for ICU. This is Dr. Ann.